There's growing anxiety tonight about negotiations over the debt ceiling. Millions of Americans are waiting to see what's going to happen to the government payments they rely on. ABC's Morgan Norwood explains where things stand right now. With just seven days until a potentially catastrophic economic default, members of the House of Representatives headed home for their Memorial Day recess without reaching an agreement with the White House on a debt ceiling deal. Every hour matters. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy seeming to recognize the urgency, but refusing to say if his negotiators in the White House would meet today, though he did express optimism. We will get this done and we will have a better bill because of it. The only way to move forward is with a bipartisan agreement, and I believe we'll come to an agreement. Several Democrats have voiced their frustrations over the state of the negotiations, with House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries accusing Republicans of trying to hold the economy hostage. Jeffries joining Congress and Vietnam veteran Mike Thompson Thank to explain you, how U.S. troops would be harmed if the U.S. government defaults. VA appointments are going to be canceled because of this. There's 900,000 veterans who depend upon care providers. Those care providers aren't going to receive any pay. The Treasury Secretary maintains the nation could default possibly as early as June, meaning billions of dollars in payments for programs including Social Security, Medicare, as well as some military salaries salaries and veterans benefits are at risk of going unpaid or delayed if no agreement is reached. Meanwhile, Fitch, one of the major credit rating agencies, has now put the country's triple A credit rating on a negative watch. Now, it's not a downgrade per se, but it is a warning that the top notch credit worthiness of the U.S. is at risk. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Washington.